Hi everybody. Uh, in this video, we will tell you about uh, RIM database in uh, React Native uh, by creating a new uh, to do list app using uh, RIM uh, database. And in this application, uh, we will add, uh, we can insert, we will uh, delete, update, and query a list of to do list and uh, adding more to do to an existing to do list. So uh, let's start with. Uh, um, here it is a very simple uh, example for you to understand uh, some of the function uh, and API of the real database by using the to-do list app uh, yes as you can see in the demo we can uh, delete update a query and delete on the value in your database uh, so firstly we need to create a new react native project and uh, we name it uh, tutorial project by uh, using the react native init and now uh, after waiting a few seconds we uh, have the new project and uh, we can uh, change uh, clear or change and change directory to uh, tutorial project and list all file uh, so after that inside the package.json we uh, cat the uh, the file name and uh, inside this I see that the react native version here. It's a uh, 0.52 and uh, We uh, will now add a uh, more library uh, Into an existing application So firstly you need to Im uh, install the react native swipe out uh, and uh, pop up uh, to allow you to serve pop up and uh, uh, serve the edit um, and delete button then we um, also install uh, rim yes a uh, rim package is very important in uh, this uh, series and uh, after installing this you can check again in package.json to uh, see uh, the, the the install package so we have react native we have rim we have uh, a pop-up dialog we have swipe out but uh, the rim is most important so this is a uh, uml diagram we have one to-do list has many to-dos and one to-do has only one uh, to-do list so the relation here is one to many so let's go uh, create a new pro uh, new directory name database and uh, we have the, the javascript file on schema.js inside uh, this database folder then open with uh, uh, visual studio code or uh, we uh, edit this file on schema.js uh, by firstly import the rim from um, a rim database library so we have a schema name a schema name like table name it defines uh, the, 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 uh, the table of to-do list, uh, table of to-dos. So all here is called schemas. And now uh, defining the model in schema, something like defining a class. Oh, we uh, have some of the property and then we have a primary key. Uh, but uh, the primary key is not auto increment when uh, you insert new. Uh, it means that you have to uh, create your own primary key value we also have function uh, uh, we have a name and the type name the name of the to do means that it is a string and it is indexed it means uh, it improves the, the, the searching process by, by uh, add index and done uh, true or false uh, what about the to-do list schema? It also has primary key. Uh, it has name, and uh, it also has the uh, creation date or the date that you uh, uh, create this task. So, um, what about the to-do? To-do is an array of to-do here. Uh, it means that one to-do list has many to-dos. Then it is a one-to-many relation. So you uh, add the to-dos array inside the to-do list schema. So the to-do here uh, is a relation one to many, one to-do, 
uh, list or add too many to do. We uh, have the, the function to add new to do list uh, with the input. Uh, input parameter is a new to do list object, and we use a promise. The promise has uh, two result one uh, for success and one for false. Uh, the result resolve is uh, you know, the result where in the case it is uh, successful, and the reset uh, when uh, it is called when it is unsuccessful. So uh, we also have the database option. So the part, uh, the part is, uh, is where the database file is located, and it uh, it has the extension dot rem. Yes, and the schema here uh, is uh, that all the schema in your database you can add or more to this, and the schema version is optional. Uh, it is uh, important when you want to migrate uh, your your new one uh, old schema to new schema. So it is use it when uh, uh, migrating with uh, uh, schema version. Uh, so inside the, the uh, insert new to do list, we have uh, we open the database with database option. And uh, after it's successful, it uh, will now uh, run the function in send. Uh, otherwise, it will uh, uh, work with catch. And uh, we, we have two cases. We have two cases for promise, uh, false or success. Uh, so the reason here will uh, show the error uh, if the insert process is uh, uh, unsuccessful. And if it is okay, then uh, call a write function. It is an asynchronous function, means that the value has been uh, uh, has dispatched to a, a, a separated process. So the new to do list, we call the rem dot create to create a new to do list in the to do list schema, and. Uh, uh, you can add uh, uh, a JavaScript object to the new to do list uh, to have a, mm, the value like in the, with ID, with name. So, resolve, resolve means successful. When it is success, the resolve function has been called. And uh, when it is unsuccessful, the reset has been called. Uh, so, we also have another. Uh, function we have update to do list to update an existing to do list so uh, mm, uh, if you have an existing to do list we also uh, update this and after the result has been returned uh, it is successful if result and it is uh, unsuccessful if uh, uh, reject yes so firstly uh, get a to do list from a specific to do list ID. If you have a, a to do list ID, you can get the detail object uh, by using this function object for primary key. It will search an object from the primary key. It is something like the where in SQL. So, uh, guess this it is updating to do list. Uh, after we have the updating to the list, we can uh, set the value like in the uh, like an object. We can set the name. We can set another property to a new property, etc. And uh, this is very simple because it is uh, like an, uh, an, uh, to uh, update an object uh, to update the database. And after uh, the value uh, change, the value will be uh, in the database will be changed accordingly. Yes. Uh, so if it is okay, resolve. Uh, resolve with the input parameter is a to do list. Uh, so uh, you can resolve, and it is not necessary to, to set the value inside the resolve. You can leave it blank to uh, give you that the, uh, uh, the process of updating is successful. And what about the delete process? You call delete to do list with the input parameter is a to do list ID. So depending on the to do list ID, you uh, can uh, search. You can search for this. Um, so you can search object for primary key 
to get the value but uh, in this case we use it for deleting not updating so uh, from the input parameter to the list id we um, search to get uh, the by calling object for primary key um, with the to-do list schema and to-do list id we have the deleting to-do list and uh, call rim delete to delete this object and then uh, the object in the database will be deleted so resolve means successful with uh, no parameter which is not, not necessary you can add uh, also add true phones to here but uh, i think it is not necessary so uh, we uh, will have uh, another function delete on to-do list uh, this function will uh, query on the value in the database uh, of uh, to-do list schema and then uh, delete this so use this function this function mean uh, query all or select all or uh, select star from in uh, sql yes if you are familiar with uh, sql you can uh, remember the function uh, or the command of, uh, select star from uh, we have on to the list rim delete on to the list and uh, if it is okay the resolve has been called yes uh, so um, this is very simple simple because the own to the list here like an array yes you can use it like an array then if you want to query on to the list or file on you can uh, remove the delete uh, function and re resolve on to the list uh, so the the result of this function is a list of uh, to the list uh, it will list all the to the list yes you can also uh, export this uh, rim object then you can clone this rim object in uh, another file you can uh, oh, yes uh, you can use it to um, clone some of the function in the rim object in another javascript file but um, it is good if, if you can use the promise like some of uh, those function so in the index.js we uh, uh, we see the app component and we replace the app component with the to-do list component uh, so uh, create a new to-do list component a new photo for a new directory for a component so we uh, make directory components we uh, task or create a new javascript file to-do list component.js and uh, click to here yes I will re replace the to-do list component with the app component from component to-do list component and uh, copy this yeah click to here uh, so uh, to-do list component uh, is a to-do list screen yes uh, so we import uh, flat list we import uh, touchable capacity so we can use it we can uh, show it in the list so use a flat list not list view uh, we import uh, tho uh, those functions here yes we import those functions here to use uh, from own schema uh, delete update and query on to the list uh, to query in uh, the flat list and uh, we import the, the rim object here yes you can use it or you can uh, define all the function in the uh, own schema we export the uh, class uh, to the list uh, component uh, extend from the react native component and we return to a view and then um, we, we have uh, the, um, the the basic uh, project here and uh, you import this so we have the basic project here, uh, here and some function in uh, database so in the next lesson i will show you about how to implement this function in the user interface you can uh, 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 subscribe to my channel or download code in your uh, github here for more uh, thank you